you, Star. I'm working on my shininess. Yeah, no, just leave it on, honey. Good job. And this is a great night for us all to look on us. What's that? Because it's Christmas. Yeah, um, uh, what is Christmas? You don't know what Christmas is? Oh, that's right. You're a brand new star. This is your very first Christmas. Yes, is it your first Christmas too? <laughs> No, I've seen over 2,000 of them. Wow, 2,000? Is that a lot? Well, yes, it, it is. In fact, I'm old enough to tell you that the very first Christmas, and I can explain why we still celebrate it even after all these years. Oh, please do. I don't care all about it. Okay, to start with, we have to go back until the first Christmas and visit a little place called Nazareth. Is Nazareth, is Nazareth a place in the scout, you know, of his face? No, it is a place sent down on earth on that little baby planet right down You mean the little blue and green one there between Mars and Venus? That's right. Exactly! And look right over there, that's the town of Nazareth. Oh, who's that lady? That's Mary. She is pledged to be married to a man named Joseph.
behold your cousin Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son and this is the sixth month with her who was barren, for God is nothing impossible. After the angel left him, Mary hurried to visit her cousin Elizabeth. When Mary arrived, she found out that things were just like the angel had told her. Mary seemed really happy to see Elizabeth. And don't think, Elizabeth was going to have a baby in her old age. It was a miracle. And yes, yes, and Mary wasn't the only one who was happy. Elizabeth who was happy too. Listen to what she said. And when Elizabeth heard the being of Mary, the baby and the moon and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and she was full of the Lord. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your Lord. Why is this granted to me? The mother of my Lord should come to me. Luke 1, 41 through 43. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for a long visit. Nazareth and then returned home to Nazareth. But by, but by now it was more obvious that she was going to have a baby. Uh-oh, what did Joseph say? Well, God already had that covered. Oh, 
like a family of billiards. A little bit, but without beans or the potato salad. That's too bad. I love potato salad. If they have cookies, I love cookies. I don't think so. Too bad. For Mary and Joseph, it was a pretty long and difficult trip. Especially since Mary was expecting a baby. Where did they have to go? They went to a little town called Bethlehem. Where did the do you mean that little bit down over there in the middle of the work? That's the work. It was the birthplace. It was the birthplace of Joseph's ancestor, King David. Wait a minute. It's not the one we seen about. Yes. Wait, listen. I think someone's going to sing it now. It was probably the safest and best place they had for him. 
Indians that live in now shepherds out in the fields keeping watch over their flocks by night. And the angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with fear. Your great hands of great joy which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David, Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in soil and clothes of my hand. And
And the Lord, because he is a pain, the sacrifice for our sin. He warned in a dream not to return to Herod. They departed to their country by another way. Matthew 2, verse 12. Yes, yes. We'll get you some. 